Our growth point teaching today takes us to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse number 13, and it reads as follows. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top, never at the bottom. This verse is in a series of verses that are dealing with the, the, the blessing for obedience. And, and obedience is key in order to experience what God has for us. This blessing, these promises are given to the person who is obedient. So what is the condition that we find in this verse? What is the, the condition in these verses to receive uh, the blessings? The condition is obedience. God looks at our heart. God looks at our lives and He is looking to see if, if we are uh, being obedient to Him? Are we following what God's Word is instructing us to do? Are we applying the principles, godly principles to our lives? Are we uh, loving God the way we need to? Are we loving others the way God's Word instructs us to do? So as you and I put into practice this, this obedience, we will always be on top. We will have the upper hand and we will never be on the bottom. So obedience to God is vital and it is key because as we are obedient to God, we will be exalted by God. So our obedience is better than sacrifice. So as you and I go about our day-to-day -day activities, may our desire and our hope and, and, and how we live our lives be one where we are obedient to what God is asking us to do, what God's Word is telling us to do. And out of our obedience to Him, we will experience His blessings in our lives in many, many ways. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You for this reminder that You desire for each and every one of us to be obedient to You. So, so give us the strength, give us the courage to obey you, even in the times when it is challenging, even when we feel like or think we might be standing alone. Help us to obey you and obey your word and to put you first. I pray this prayer of blessing over you. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.